Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly build an open AI API um, function inside of Excel. So let me demo what I mean by that. I have this new function I made with uh, VBA in Excel, write a prompt in here. Like for example, who is the most successful person on the apprentice? And then you press enter and it's going to get the answer to that prompt. Okay. Another demo of this is like, say you have a job in a city. So you can see this works just like an Excel formula where I'm combining business analyst, the city, Tokyo, and I have a uh, further description based on the following job city return, just the estimated salary and USD only, only return salary number and the answer. And if we drag this down, just like any other formula, uh, you'll see that it's going to give us salary numbers for all of these uh, different jobs. So um, this code is using uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. Um, in the past, I used a text DaVinci 3 in a previous video I made uh, about nine months ago, but since then that's been deprecated. And if you follow that video, you'll get uh, something kind of like this here. So it'll say we could not parse the JSON part of your body, blah, 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 JSON payload. So we have to update this to follow the new format. All right, so you can see this was the old uh, function we made in VBA um, in, in that previous video. Uh, it, we're gonna follow very similar with a few changes. So we're no longer going to be using this URL uh, text DaVinci 3. And I found this from this uh, help document on OpenAI showing that these are deprecated now, this uh, engine, and then you specify the engine type. Seems like that's no longer in use and they're using a new uh, new method. So if we click open the link of API references, something more along the lines of this, where we use a V1 chat completions, and we have to specify the model here and then follow this uh, format of role, user, and then content. And then inside here, we're going to insert our prompt. So model will be sticking to GPT 3.5 turbo. I actually haven't figured out GPT-4 in VBA yet. So if you have, feel free to comment. Um, and then temperature, I am going to be using zero. All right, so without further ado, let's minimize this and open up the VBA code. So you wanna go into your developer and go ahead and click Visual Basic. All right, so this is the completed code. I will be posting this inside of a GitHub link in the description. So if you do not want to have to type all of this, you can click that link and copy and paste this right into your uh, VBA editor. So make sure if it's your first time using uh, VBA, uh, make sure you save your file as a macro enabled file. I already did that, so I'm not going to bother saving my file again as macro enabled. So I'm just gonna go back into Visual Basic. So in this developer tab, Visual Basic. Um, okay, so let's continue with the code. We've changed this URL to use uh, chat completions for my previous video. And you'll notice this new section here, which is VBA's version of this thing here, where you specify model message temperature. This is how you format that in VBA. So you have role, user, we have the model, we have the content, and then we have the prompt, which is the parameter from our function getting inserted here. We have a temperature, uh, which is right now 0 0.7, so 0 to 1. For this, I actually would prefer a temperature of 0, so I'm going to change that. All right, and then this is just the response, and it's how you make uh, requests with uh, VBA. So it's a post request. We have the content type application JSON. Then you have the app authorization, the bearer, and you have your API key here, and then we're sending data, okay? And then that nicely gets inserted into this JSON variable. So this JSON variable, that is gonna be our response. So if you stop right here, what you're going to get is basically 
this. So you see that same question from earlier, hi, what is the most successful person on The Apprentice? Up here, we have this nice response here. Whereas down here, we have all this other stuff like the model, it's like it's stored in this JSON output. We have the ID, the index, and then we have a role assistant and some more things here. Uh, prompt token, completion token, total tokens used, a lot of stuff that we don't really care about for this case. So essentially this part of, of my VBA code, I'm just, I'm just extracting the text. So I did a, a pretty simple way of extracting it. I'm finding where uh, content starts because content is always going to have our answer you can see here there's content right after that is the answer and then i'm just uh i made a do while to uh ignore if there's a backslash quote because that's how it shows quotes inside of uh the excel output in vba and we're just looking for the end quote so once we have the uh, content and we have the end quote, we can use this mid function in VBA, which works just like Excel's mid. And we have our JSON, we have the start, and then we have our end minus the start. And uh, that will get us the length we need to extract. And, uh, and then we have, the content we just need to assign content to OpenAI, and and that's that's it so now you have a formula that is using gpt 3.5 so this is the most up-to-date way of doing this in uh, vba uh, so make sure to insert your OpenAI api key here so make sure to save that and then you can go back into um you can go back into Excel and you can go ahead and use it just like you'd use any other formula. So how about this? Write a reason why people should subscribe to my tech YouTube channel. Let's see what OpenAI has to say about that. So there are several compelling reasons why people should subscribe to your tech YouTube channel. One, expertise and knowledge. As the creator of the channel, you possess deep understanding and expertise in the field of technology. So quite a lot that it wrote of why you should subscribe. I'm not going to read it, but this is it for this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe.